Hi, so now I'm going to continue and I'm going to um, describe uh, questions 15, 16, and 17 uh, for section one and then quickly uh, talk about section two. It's not uh, imperative that you know everything there is to know about that, but I do need you to know the difference between a, a couple of things. So here we go. Uh, the first, uh, the first one uh, was how does thermal expansion explain convection in a pan of water? Okay, so you have a pan of water and you're heating it, and as the heat comes up, the water at the bottom gets heated, so it it's, it starts to expand, and as it expands, it starts it it moves around and rises. It's got less a little less density, so it's it's, it's expanded out a little bit. And it moves to the top. And that's why water sort of rolls when it's boiling. Because the cooler water in the center dips down to the bottom and gets heated. And then that's how you get that convection effect when you're um, boiling water. So that's the idea of, of number 15. Number 16 says, uh, at what temperature does uh, water reach its greatest density? And it reaches its greatest density um, uh, below, uh, four degrees below zero Celsius, uh, or, or at four degrees Celsius, uh, below four degrees, um, they become ice crystals. So, so its greatest density is as water, as water, um, is just before it freezes, it's, it's getting, you know, the, the molecules are, getting together and getting it together and getting together and then it actually freezes and spreads out a little bit it's it's one of those cool anomalies that turns into a crystalline structure so just before it freezes it's it's as dense as it's going to get as water um and so the answer was four degrees don't care it's not going to be on the test that's too specific for me um, and what is the difference between gas and plasma? We didn't talk about plasma. Plasma is really cool because if you add more energy to that gas, you add a lot more energy to that gas. The gas starts to ionize, you know, and, 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 and there's, there's, there's electricity and it's, and it's super hot and it's, and it's electric all at the same time. So, um, uh, we don't see it in life very often. And, and you'd, I'd have to look it up to, to show you pictures of, of, of gas uh, turning into to plasma. But that's, that's that last state where it's superheated and it, and it has those ions that, that contain electric charge. And we'll get to electric charge, hopefully, by the end of the year. So let's move on to section two. Section two, or the, the first question is, the first and second questions are the most important questions. And those are the two things that are going to be on the test, okay? Um, which liquid that you're seeing in A and B uh, has the greatest uh, cohesion? Cohesion is, remember yesterday I talked about those forces that stick together, that, you know, the... The substance itself likes to stick to itself, and that's cohesion. The same forces, the same substances coming together and sticking together, and so that would be number. Uh, that would be letter B. You know, you see that that convex uh, liquid inside the tube. Um, that means it doesn't want to stick to the sides of the tube. It wants to stick to itself so it's going to have a little convex shape All right concave concave convex right okay anyway it wants to sh it wants to stick to itself so it's going to be pushing up all right whereas if it were a more adhesive substance it would stick to the sides like in letter a all right, and how do the adhesive forces of each liquid compare? It's hard to compare two different liquids unless you're looking at it um, in something like this. Uh, it there's really no no way to 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 take a substance and compare its adhesive 
uh, properties unless you stick it in something like this. And so that's not the question I'm going to put on there. I'm going to talk about cohesion and adhesion and give me a definition of each. Um, we know that cohesive, um, the substance likes to stick to itself. Adhesion, it likes to stick to other things. Okay? And number three, a flat piece of aluminum foil is placed on the surface of a pan of water. Although the aluminum is more dense than the water, the foil doesn't sink, right? Well, why doesn't it sink? You know, when it's something flat like that. Um, if you ball up the, the aluminum, right, and put it on the same water, it'll go ahead and sink. Why is that? Well, when it's flat, even though the aluminum, while it's flat, is more dense than the water, the cohesive force of the water, the surface tension of the water, is keeping that aluminum from sinking down. All right, so that's the answer. Um, if you ball up the, the, the foil, it'll have the same density, the, the, and it has the same mass, but it's balled up into a, a tighter place, and so the cohesive forces can't quite hold up that, that aluminum foil. And last but certainly not least, it's a very hot day at the beach. The air temperature is greater than 32 degrees Celsius, and there's no breeze to cool, to cool you off. Why do you feel cooler when you get out of the water? <coughs> and really, that's just evaporation, right? Um, some of the water molecules um, take that energy away from your skin as, as there's evaporation. Um, and it reduces the amount of kinetic energy. If you reduce kinetic energy, you're going to reduce some of the heat. So basically, because of evaporation, you feel cooler, even though um, uh, the temperature is, is the same and your body temperature is the same. But as, you, as there's evaporation, because of the energy needed to evaporate, some of that kinetic energy is removed from your skin. And those are, that's the, the, the crux of section two and the last of section one. And I'm going to move on to section three.